Welcome back to the Mirrorcorps YouTube channel. In today's video, MacArthur Elementary learns how to play the game of rugby. Oh, yeah. Uh, so my name is Justin Karenberg, or Mr. Karenberg, and I coach rugby at New Mexico State University, where all of you will go to school one day and grow up to be big and smart, just like Cass and <laughs> everyone else. I'm going to teach you today about rugby, which is like a combination of soccer and football put together, and it's probably the most fun thing I've ever done ever and I love it. So I'm really excited to share it with you guys. And we'll learn a little bit about the rules and then we'll learn how to play. I brought some balls that you guys can play with, some rugby balls so you get to see what those are like. And so it's gonna be fun and exciting. A little bit about history of rugby. This old high schooler, uh, college student decided that, you know, it'd be fun if you played a little bit of football and soccer mixed together. And his name was William Webb Ellis. And over here, we already have him playing football. He basically started the loose rules and interpretations of how rugby should be played. The positions don't really matter. You just got to make sure that you're always there to be passing the ball. Uh -huh. uh, the game starts with a kick. So normally, they bounce it on the ground, and then you have to kick the ball from there. Only pass behind you. Yeah. That's the big rule. As the person's in front of you, you can't pass from the ball. This is an example of tackling below. It it's has to below. be below. That's well, you have, to, you have to grab and you kind of put your shoulder near their stomach. So you kind of like cushion your fall as well. This one. And this is an example of passing it back. When teammate gets tackled, we must work over them to protect them and the ball. So when they get tackled, your other teammate gets on top of you and make sure that they're covering you and the ball. So when the other team tries to push you off or tries to take the ball, you're already there protecting. If there's a penalty, two things can happen, a scrum or a kick. There's two different ways to play. That's 15 versus 15 or 7 versus 7. That's a rook. You can kind of see that he's kind of covering his uh, player and the ball is based behind him so the other player can toss it out. Next one. That is a scrum. That's just a bunch of people locked onto together and they're pushing the other opponent team and they're just pushing each other until the ball gets released from underneath of them. And that is a throw-in. So you lift up your, your players up to receive the ball and you see they're waiting for him to get down on the ground. And then from there, they pass on the ball and they keep playing. So this is what um, a 15s game would look like. You have your big, muscly, big guys, the tough ones, playing forwards. And then you have like your wingers and the fastest people in the back. They tend to be smaller. I play 15, which is a fullback. I tend to be the smallest, but I'm pretty fast, so I don't... <laughs> I'm faster than you actually. We'll see about that. And Watch. instead of <laughs> watching some rugby, let's play a little bit, shall we? The ball is near your hip. Is that your hip? Guys, you have to stay within this area and you guys have to pass it between yourselves with the green bibs on and you have to try to knock the ball down. Oh that's a lot in rugby. You can take it from their hands too. What's gonna happen is I'm gonna be on the ground with the rook and you guys have to protect me. And then Justin's gonna try to push you guys off. Get the ball. You have to stay strong. Put one of your feet back. Oh, yeah, now you're strong. Oh, there you right go. There you go. Now I can't like push you off. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So, who wants to see a little practice of a tackle? Very safe.
Let's go! <laughs> Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.